Okay, now these are done, you can get an idea for what happens to a black and white photo when you add some color over the top and change the blending mode. Again, the blending mode changes the layer that you have highlighted and makes the color more transparent. So you still see some color there, but you can also see the image, except of course for a couple of them. You can also turn off your black and white layer briefly and see what the difference is. You'll see it a little bit more down here in these last few. The last thing we want to do is add labels to all of these. In order to do that, once you get your text tool and click in the lower corner of your box and type the blending mode. Of course, before you start doing that, make sure you're in the labels folder so that you can stay organized. So just click on labels and then try it again. And there it is. This one is normal. If you really want to, you can play around with some fonts just make sure that it's about 12 point font and that it's easy to read. If you change the font or if you change the color, just make sure it's easy to read and it fits inside of this box. In order to start a new text box, you can hold down shift and you'll see the mouse changes into the cursor again and click in the corner and you have a new box. Looking down here, the next one is dissolve and just can keep continue down and type all of your labels. And that completes this worksheet. You have a good idea for what the blending modes do and how to use them. And if you zoom in close, you can see what all of the different colors will look like if you use this blending mode. Now you can refer back to this when we move on to the next video and get an idea for how to use the blending modes.